my friends. It has been a while. I got sick again. No surprise. The same thing as last time. Turns out, it's these little fuckers. These are antibiotics I was taking for something I was sick with. And yeah, it turns out I have a bit of a reaction to them. Which is probably why I was in hospital the last two times. Because that was right after I started taking those same antibiotics the last two times. I've been out of commission the last couple days because of that. That is why. I haven't uploaded any videos. So, bit of ground to cover. I, at the moment, have some tea. Some good old gumboot tea because we have 200 bags of it. I'm not even joking. Literally 200 bags of this tea. So let me start off with saying I haven't quite cleaned my room. I got the bed out of it, which is a good start, and I kind of cleaned a bit, but no. I'm sorry to say that I have not cleaned it even though I said I would. I did, however, finally get issue one of the Star Wars. Which is a really cool cover. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's such a cool cover! And despite what the lady at the comic shop told me, I didn't actually have issue 2 yet. So, turns out, I still can't read the ones that I bought a few months ago. So, now I have issue 5 to add to the pile of comics I can't read. But it's very strange reading these comics because they are quite different to the Star Wars that we know and love these days. First drafts, who knew they could be so different? It's kind of inspiring though to see how something can progress from that. Which is not saying it's bad, it's just very different. Something like Vader not being a Sith Lord to Star Wars that is apparently a masterpiece, in my opinion. Kind of inspiring. Goes to show that your first draft isn't really concrete and that you just kind of have to do it. Which is advice I should really follow. Other news, I got my secret Valentine, YouTube New Zealand secret Valentine. So click here to see that. So it's unedited, so it's just me babbling about stuff. This has a lemon grab inside, and when you open it, it says, My life would be unacceptable without you, and it's so cute. This person knew me so well. It's probably because I talk a lot in my videos. So I also managed to twist my ankle, which means I've kind of been home bound. Kind of. I don't know, I went for a swim the other day. Still in a crab. Thought I was gonna get hit by a boat because it was coming at me pretty fast, and I was like, Oh god, boat, what if it tries to come in where I am? And it didn't. I'm still alive. The boat didn't hit me. The boat didn't even come near me. But when I'm swimming, I can't wear my glasses. And I can tell you, I am pretty blind without these glasses. Don't think that crab was very fond of me. I had to babysit a husky puppy today. Hello. No, oh, he's so cute. Which I thought would be fun. And turned out it was a lot of hard work. Husky puppies are a bit. they're jumpy. They're very jumpy. And this one was very bitey. I think it's like teething or something. Puppy's teeth. So, it's nice to be back. Hopefully, now that I know what has been sending me to hospital and making me sick, it won't happen again. Keep your enemies close to you. These enemies are close to me. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. May the force be with you. And if I don't have my room clean tomorrow, please just yell at me or punish me or something. I don't know. It needs to be clean. It really needs to be clean. Good night. I love you. Hey, Daisy. Oh.